Hello everyone, Deus Legend here for Xbox Live Network, here with a look at the new release game, Broken Age. This game was released today on the Xbox Store, June 23rd. For the price of $19.99, the game was developed and published by Double Fine. Let's go ahead and take a look here and start up a new game. So check out this game, see what it's all about here. If you happen to miss any of the action, you can check us out on YouTube, as we will upload this on demand, so you guys can check out whenever you like. So let's get on with Broken Age here. Ooh. Hey, rise and shine, son. Huh? That's my boy. Oh, here comes your mother. Oh. Computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little space ant this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Hmm. Chocolate rockets? Yikes. No way. At this point in the game, you can get your first achievement by, um... Saying no to all these cereals, but I've already done that. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna say yes to one. Sounds good, computer. If you if you don't refuse all the cereals, you can still get another achievement by not eating the cereal by just letting the spoon sit here and talk. But I've already done that, so we're gonna eat. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, I don't know. That was. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Ah. Then we need to switch to the other person. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Hmm. Let's go inside the house.
Hello? Hello? Shh. Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. You sure this Maiden's Feast is a good idea, Pops? I... It's what you want. Right? You can get another achievement yes, here on this part by talking to all the people and exalting all their dialogue options. Wonder. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll do great. You seem excited. I am. I think I'm gonna barf. That could be all the cupcakes you've been eating. I'm just sad I'm too young. I wish we didn't have to wait 14 years for another mog. I'll try to make you proud, Rocky. I'm already proud of you, stupid. Nope. Cupcakes. Oh my god. Cupcakes! Oh my god! Yay! Alright, her dialogue's done. Where would I... Last, Last chance, chance to stop this thing, Pops. <laughs> you kidder. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl! Now that's beast ender blood talking! Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> Mom? I was just wondering, what if we fought them? Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullet, and had us out the door already. Oh. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell! What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Magchathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Magchathra's stomach. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their Maiden's Feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. Hey, Boss Ness, welcome. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. 
So why don't we just fight Mog Chothra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chothra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Do you know where Mom's knife is? <clears throat> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <clears> hmm. <throat> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I'd better go find that knife. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Somewhere out here. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. I think that's supposed to look like Mog Chathra, my handsome date to the prom. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? This stupid knife is ruining my Hiding them won't do any good. Rocky's got the scent. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my finger. Drying that won't help. Think, Morelia, think. Need a towel, Grandpa? Why? Do I look like some old drooling invalid to you? <laughs> it's just got to be. Oh, no luck. I'm tempted to snap her with it, but I don't want to embarrass my mom. I must be losing my mind. He's already got a towel. Need a towel? Do you see any frosting on my face? No, you're very neat. I know how to hide the evidence of cupcake stealing. The only thing she wants is that knife. I'm tempted to snap her with it, but I don't want to embarrass... I could cover it up, but I'll have to face him sooner or later. Okay, nothing to do with the towel. <laughs> Choco rockets? Oh, we're already done this. Difference does it make? Yes! You won't 
be sorry, Commander. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't didn't actually eat the cereal. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh oh. Uh, Commander, aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No. no. Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. computer. What's the big emergency? emergency? I wish you called me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, me computer. computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an... Ice cream avalanche! Yay! Sounds good. Ice cream avalanche. That's not worse. Help. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you up. Hey, look at all that whipped cream. Hey, look at the people stuck in the terrible avalanche. Hey, look at all that whip. Don't worry, I'll pick. Here, take this spoon and dig yourselves out. We don't know how to use it. Show us, brave hero! Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Stay on alert. I think there might be. Good job. It's a, a lot of ice cream to eat. Suit up and investigate that foreign body. Oh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Outside the ship, the 
foreign body must be very close by. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Get off of me! Get off! <laughs> That runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System Seven. Rise and shine. Come on, Master. No time to waste. Chocolate rockets. Yikes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? No. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Hey. Louis Tesso, welcome. Fattening avalanche, I guess. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plotting the course for Planet Galactica. This game is crazy and funny. There was another ice cream avalanche? Weird. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Come, 
Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to their plight. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Don't worry, I'll figure out. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Nah, Gary will. Don't worry, I'll figure out. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Don't worry, I'll pick. Hey, look at all that whipped cream. Gary feels that the whipped cream is not relevant to this particular rescue mission. Even if I could eat all the whipped cream, I don't think that would help them get out from under this avalanche. Here, take this spoon and dig yourselves out. We don't know how to use it! Trainwreck, please. It's a fox. Who are you? It's T Fox. Tire a child's leg. When you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But no one. Hey, wait! What? Alright, got an achievement. No 15 points. Shot, Whoops. Young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until the Shrimp Shay's daily routine. I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Weird. Weird. No, no mission. mission. I can do, do whatever. whatever. Can't, Can't sleep. sleep on a mission. mission. Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, 
What are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <laughs> I don't see any of those weird little screws there. Can't sleep. On a mission. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoop. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. I don't think that needs anything. It's a tank it's of compressed, compressed air. air. I don't want to open it. That would let all the air out. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. It's a tank of compressed air. I don't want to open it. That would let all the... It looks like a weird little screwdriver. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. Come on, Robin, Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah. It's a tank of compressed air. I don't think that needs any air. Can't sleep. On a mission. I don't think that needs any air. I don't think that needs any air. Gary doesn't want to grab that any more than I do. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. I don't see any of those weird little screws there. Missions cancelled until further notice. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Gary is programmed not to grab his master. It's one of the primary rules of robotics. Better not touch it, or I'll alert the overlooker. Nah. Gary doesn't want Gary is programmed not to grab his master. It's one of the primary rules of robotics. Nah. Gary doesn't like to grab things with weird little screws. Nah. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. There we go. It works. Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. I don't think that will help him. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? Nah, Gary is uncomfortable. Nah, Gary doesn't want to grab that. Hey. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah. Gary is uncomfortable with that. Man. I don't think that will help inflate it. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow-up doll of me. 
creepy. If we yeah, put it in a bit. On a mission. Hopefully, this looks enough, enough like me to fool the warden. warden. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. Never seen this part of the ship before. You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny, and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, yes. we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Those poor creatures. They're counting on you, young cub. Excuse me, Merrick? What are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the Space Weaver right now. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. Alright. I'd like to welcome everybody to the channel. Welcome to Xbox Live Network. Fayette's Legend here with new game Broken Age. Negative. This door is locked. I don't think I was supposed to come this way. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. Break it yet? Almost. Ah, the young master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, Wiseman? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it's safe and free of conflict. Ah. Oh. Bring me a star chart. 
and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. Negative. This door is locked. Where are we? Same place as always. The center of the universe. Really? Wherever the young master is, that is the center of our universe. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. This is a stealth mission, not safe to use the hallways, understand? Excuse me, Merrick, what are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the... Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. I apologize. This is the star chart for Talon Nebula. I build them myself and I'm a little protected. Oh, I already have the star chart. Space Weaver, can you take me here? It would be elementary. Hey, Jack Rabbit Games, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Aww. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be meant to serve your purpose. Okay, well, I guess we're done with her. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. This is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shield. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grappling sequence. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And I know. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young hub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. Go on, move the ship. Careful. Wait for it. Rats. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. 
We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't you tell didn't me tell that you lived and died. Die. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Let's give her a new star chart. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Excellent choice, young sir. Make it so. This looks like the place. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting. All right. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Try again. Excellent. Securing subject and cargo hold. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. See the creature in your mind. Great work. Go on, move the ship. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. Oh, this was moving. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. Uh -oh. You need to retreat before... How long do I think the game is? Um... What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. Hmm. And we're completely locked out of the control. Seems quite long. I mean, there are, um... We'll have to find another way there's two X, I guess. Like, one and two. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system I mean, the ship's on high alert. There's an achievement for being the game in under an hour, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your...
So I don't guess anywhere between, uh, of course during a one hour you have to skip all the cutscenes and stuff. And um, I would say realistically maybe anywhere two to four hours, I don't know. Don't worry sweetie, um, something attacked the ship, but mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Ship under attack, everything's fine. Well, you're half right. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver and hope for the best. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your... Other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? Sorry about that. your age just has good instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. Merrick told me to use this on the fusion orb, not that. We need to go here right away. Prima do. Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Might I suggest somewhere safer, like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe Somewhere in the smile system? No way. I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, young master, but my programming won't allow it. Maybe the smile system would be better. Preparing decryption mechanism. 
Make it so. Another safe voyage brought to you by the Navigation Department. Merrick. A space weaver won't make a nav scarf for Prima Doom. Hmm. How are your knitting skills? I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out, but it's for their own safety. Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out, but it's for their own safety, I guess. I should show this to the space weaver. I never want to see another train as long as I live. I made a hexy pal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were. Wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old. She bronzed my first space sheet. I wish she'd get rid of these. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. How did I? As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Hey, my... my head. What's wrong? My head is... smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. Duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion orb containment facility. Oh, this is the best part of my day. Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters without a return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid! Caution, entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. That's just great. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger, or my head smaller for that matter. I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger. Hmm, maybe I could scoop out the padding. Nah, there's no making this helmet big. I don't think I can inflate this helmet to make it any bigger. I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger. Or my head. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Oh, 
this is the best part of my day. All there, great. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Come again. Can't I ride the train again? I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger. Or my head smaller, for that matter. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah, Gary doesn't want to grab that. I don't think that needs any air. Can't I ride the train again? Hmm, I don't think the air would stay. I don't see anything there I want to eat. Fake controls. What a surprise. Hey, can we run the attack mission protocol? Sure! I think I know what you need! I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. <laughs> I found one of the crew. What happened here? There was an attack! From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Uh, or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It was a... Yes? Controls. What a surprise. Hey, missions are canceled. You can drop the act. It's not an act! I think I pulled a muscle in that blast attack you gave me! My hey, Sponge. Welcome. Hey, I didn't attack you. You guys attacked me. Hey, can we run the attack mission protocol? Didn't you hear me? I'm in pain! Perfect. You can use it in your acting. Leave me alone! Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. Welcome. Now can we run the attack mission protocol? Sure, buddy. I know you won.
Fake controls. What a surprise. Hey, wake up. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for their job. <laughs> no, I just. Anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Ah. <laughs> legs are creepy. I just want to practice my avalanche rescue skills. Oh, because that situation comes up a lot. It's big. Come on, Batman. I can use the hour. All right. Position plan, everybody. You're not going to believe this, but... There was another ice cream avalanche? Yay! Weird. Here. I don't know how I would crochet that. I don't know how I would crochet that. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use. Don't worry, I'll figure out. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. I can't wait to be in your mouth again. prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Yes, my love. Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. Computer? We need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why not have some fun in the smile system instead? I'd like to welcome everybody to the stream here. Computer? Xbox Live program? Network. We stream live new and unreleased games here you on the channel. You know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home Marina was dying. So we set sail on the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. 
Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could make you some new friends. So, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? Well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. So what does dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. Teleporter, activate. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion ore containment facility. Not responsible for lost items. Thanks for the follow. Bending unit 24. Welcome. I think that's Must all be a Futurama fan. You need to make a trip through me right away. In a minute. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. All radiation shielding necessary to proceed. I think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a ripoff. Hmm, maybe I could scoop up. Hey, my head is the perfect size for this helmet now. A little snug. But I think it will work. I'm not sure how long I can stand the spoiled milk smell, though. That fusion one powers the ship's shields, which is critical because we get attacked by enemy spaceships constantly. I don't see how that would make the. This is Merrick's defibrillator. Inhibitor. Right. And I need to put it on the confusion ball. Fusion or. Wait, are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> Easy does it. There. Fusion will inhibit it. Not quite. We won't activate the Omicron inhibitor until we're ready to take the shields down. And when will we be ready? Just as soon as you get control of those boom arms and navigate this ship to Prima Doom. Check. Okay, we got an achievement. Inhibited. Inhibited a powerful entity. Pretty good inhibitor placement, if I do say so myself. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus?
Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship, and the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Hmm. You're calling this... I don't see anything there I want to eat. Fake. Fake. Totally fake. I can't believe I used to think these were real. Some of these have teeth marks on them. Don't see anything there I want to eat. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. The bat system is one. Forget it. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Where shall we go today? This is the star chart for Prima Doom. What are you so happy about? This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. Need some help knitting? I have a crochet hook. Keep that thing away from me. One error in this weave, and we could be heading who knows where. Where shall we go today? Forget it. Need some help? Where shall we go today? Forget it. Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet. Hmm. I wonder if I could use this crochet hook on the Space Weaver's nav scarf to make it match the pattern on this star chart. That's a lot of buzzwords, but it just might work. Where shall we go today? Hmm, this is the star chart for Prima Doom. What are you so happy about? I think I should give that to the Space Weaver. Hmm. I wonder if I could use this crochet hook on the Space Weaver's nav scarf to make it match the pattern on this star. Where shall we go today, Wise Commander? I have to go down here. Hmm. I wonder if I could. I'll bet I could use this crochet hook to make alterations. In. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart... Hmm. I wonder if I could... We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. The bat system is forbidden due to life.
Forget it. If we can't go... If I give the Space Weaver a star chart... We need to go here right away. Maybe the smile system would be better. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Hmm. I wonder if I could use this crochet book. There's already a stitch there. I can't take it out. I think it would look better this way. It's the switch makes big and big. There's already a stitch there. I can't take it out. Um, not sure if I did it right. Oh my, I, I, I seem to have made an error in my knitting. Not sure how that happened, sir. Shall I try again? If I give the space weaver a star chart, what are you so happy about? Hmm, this is the star chart for Prima Doom. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. Fine. Hmm. I wonder if I can use this crochet book on the Space Weaver's mask. I'm sure what he meant is already. I don't think anyone would mind this. Slight alteration. Star chart for Prima Doom. Hmm. We need to go. Here. Fine. Cozy cluster it is. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. There's already a stitch there. Let me just make one small change here. I don't think anyone would mind this. I'm sure what he meant here was this. Hmm. Nah. Nah. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. One second. Okay, I think we got it. We need to be all right. I 
wonder if I could use this crochet hitch on the Space Weaver's map to make it match the pattern on this star chart. That's a lot of buzzwords, but it just might work. Let me just make I think we got the wrong one. I don't think anyone would mind this. Just a quick fix. True. What? Oh my. I... I seem to have made an error in my knitting. Not sure how that happens. Hmm. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Fine. Initializing the board and warp drive. I wonder if you don't think anyone would mind it. Let me just make one small change here. Alright. Sure, we got it right now. I have to copy what the star chart shows. Pretty much. really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. Alright. Now we got an achievement. 15 points. Doomed. Travel to a forbidden location. Merrick. I've installed the fusion orb inhibitor. Great. Now, when we push this button, the ship's shields will come down. But before we do that, we need to get manual control of those cargo boom arms. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the overmother. So, we're in Prima Doom now, right? Yes, good work. I've located the creatures in distress. But before we do that, we need to get manual control of those cargo boom arms. Quickly! We can't remain in this dangerous system for long. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. One second.
be in here. Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in. Wait, young cop. It is not time to deploy the rescue system yet. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out, but it's for their own safety. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Teleporter, activate. This way. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. There ain't no time. I don't want to open it. That would. Let's see if this fits. Come on. That's the stuff. If it weren't for this stupid air hose, I could really have some fun up here. Except for the part where I can't breathe. It's a whipped cream gun, and it's mine.
Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean the junk room? Yeah. Hang on! Hang on! Hey, I want this open. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? What's that? Nothing. Okay, now we need to go uh, back out the air hatch and cut the thing on our suit. They have to remember how to get there. I wouldn't help. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Please, sir. We don't work well together. Sounds like someone's worried about getting cut again. <laughs> Please, sir. Please, sir. Stay on alert. Stay on alert. If it weren't for this stupid air hose, I could really have some fun. Please, sir. We don't work well together. Stay on alert. I... Stay on alert. I'm not sure what kind of you... You don't talk, too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. If it weren't for this stupid air hose, I could really have some fun up here. Here we go! 
I'm free in space. Okay. Now what? Weird. Okay, there we go. Maybe if I could get this hatch open, no good. Stupid fat hands. Let me try to... Oh, hey, uh oh, no, no, not the face, or the neck, or the body. I'm free, free to clean the infinite void of space itself. Phew. <laughs> That's a relief for a lot of reasons. Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Nah, Gary to- I think, I think Gary wants to grab that. Okay, grabbing Gary. It's hero time. Don't be scared. Well, go ahead. Grab the controls. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage. Good boy. Oh, hey, 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 hey! That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? Alright, we got an achievement. 15 points armed. Took control of the boom arms. for the mission. All right, not the week ago. You were the best present ever. Teleporter, activate. Not the sound from the lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Teleporter, active. 
Teleporter active. Oh, this is the best part of my day. All right. Quickly, young cub, over here. Want to hear about how I got us to Prima Doom? Yes. After we were all set for the rescue mission, but all right, let's rescue these creatures. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. You may now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shields. Well done. Now the next one. Careful. Uh. Ah. Rats. Keep trying. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No! I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I, I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know, but it's important. It's just one creature. We've saved more than enough. It's not worth the risk, boy. There is no need for this. Dang. Dang. We've saved more than rats. Ah, more. Dang. Rats. Got it. Huh? What's uh -oh. that? I, I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers. Attention, ship is under attack. I can't see her anymore. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. <laughs> Rip. I can fix this. No! Shit! There you are. Something's happened with Shit, but don't worry. Your father will come out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe! Shay! Rip. Well, that's it for him. I think. Yep. <laughs> that's it for his story for now, so he'll force us to play the other story.
But um, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up here today on Xbox Live Network for this game. This has been Broken Age, a new game that released today on the Xbox Store, June 23rd. The game was developed and published by Double Fine, and the price is $19.99. Appreciate everyone for watching us here live on Twitch. If you miss any of the action, be sure to check us out on YouTube. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel in this video. We would appreciate that. Appreciate it if you guys follow the channel here live on Twitch. We do stream a lot of new and unreleased Xbox One games that we showcase here on the channel with multiple streamers. Also, be sure to enter our giveaways. They run from Sunday through Friday every week. We appreciate if you guys enter those and support the channel. Anyway, for Day is Legend here for Expos Live Network, that's been Broken Age. Thanks for watching.